Hey you guys, hey you guys, it's your girl Kayla B. Happy Monday, good morning. Oh my gosh, it is my try on Monday, as you know from the title. And hello, Wishful. Wishful is Huda Beauty's um line, skincare line. I mean, I understand, you know, makeup was full coverage and everything else, but to have a good base, you need good skincare. So she did full glam makeup first and then now skincare and anyways we're testing out the thirst trap cocoon mask this is a hydrating mask and this has aloe vera holy holy hawk rose caffeine sodium hyaluronate yep hyaluronate hyaluronate it has sodium <laughs> um this gentle simple effect suitable for all skin types dermatologists dermatologist tested it has um it's supposed to instant hydration soften skin dewy glow smooth soothing um and that's basically it it says start with a clean dry face and that's what i did i just washed my face with my um tea tree cleanser mostly because I don't want to get breakouts and I've been starting to get breakouts and I don't want to get breakouts no more. So because of that, I, I, I highly prevent it with my cleanser and my face needs some moisture. Usually I just go in with, again, a, a tea tree type of toner and then I go in with a hydrating serum and then a oil for the night, for night. I have a, like a nighttime oil. But... Because of this, I'm probably going to change up my skincare routine for tonight. But let's just try it out. So this is what it looks like. Holographic on one side and white on one side. And let's just open it up. Also, I got to keep it on for 20 minutes. So you're going to see like a mid, mid in the mid, a mid video break. Ooh, I have like... This is why I hate wiping my hands after I wash it because toilet paper's everywhere. Ooh, this is a thick mass. Thick and juicy. Ooh. Dang. Why does all her stuff smells like stuff? Well, just say it had rose in it. It smells florally, so that must be the rose. How do you open this? I don't want to drop it. So it has the mesh stuff, which I like, because the mass is in between, and also it catches like the majority of the serum, so you don't have like excess stuff in the bag. But I just don't want to drop this, you know? Is this is it like two meshes? I don't know. Is it two meshes or just the one? Yep, it's just the one. Okay. So uh okay. It's like already starting to tingle. I don't know if that's a good tingle or a bad tingle. We'll see. feels cooling on the skin oh, I just moved my thing above so I can actually catch the skin Yeah. Okay, Huda lips are big, right? So why would she make this so small? Like, it fits my face, which is great. It's not too big, it's not too small, but the lips are so small. It's just like, the lip hole is so small. Okay. I like to also put the, like, the, the remaining serum that's on my hands when I put the mask on on my neck. So that could be hydrated too. 
So I'll see you in 20 minutes. It's technically 11.40 p.m. So I'll probably see you at 12. Yep. Yep. That's it. Okay, side and check. It's been like six minutes. I'm going to just read you what they say about this on Sephora's website. By the way, this retails for $9. Also, it's for normal dry combination and oily skin. Basically not good for sensitive skin. When they say all those, it's not good for sensitive skin. It does has rose, aloe vera. Aloe vera is good, but it has rose. That's probably the reason why it's not good for sensitive skin. Um, visibly softens, smooths the skin, like I said. Um, the sodium hyaluronate is acid. Acids and hydration resulting in plumper, healthier looking skin. Ooh, it's plumping the skin. That's the reason why it's tingling. That's the reason why it also probably is not good for sensitive skin. So you have sensitive skin, stay clear for this. The vast majority of Huda products is really not good for sensitive skin because she does have like fragrance in her products. I mean, recently she had some fragrance free stuff, but like, no. Um, this product is cruelty free. Mm, tested 22 people on all skin types, tones, and sexes under um, derm dermatological control after one use, 100% agreed, felt hydrated, skin felt smooth, and skin was glowing. So that's what my skin is about to be, if it works. It probably does work. It probably does work. Um, yep. Okay. No soft face. No parabens, no phthalates, and all that extra stuff. So yeah, yeah, that's the mask right there. All right, I'm back. It is currently 12, 12. I know I did like 12 minutes over. I just wanted everything to sink in and let's just, whoa, my face is glowy. It did say hydrating, glowy, brightening, and it is. Wow. It's like so much in this thing, like in the mask still. It's like all squishy, like do you hear that? Like it's squishy. So it says patent remaining stuff, which I'm doing um, $9 for a mask. I usually do my Sephora mask. If anything, if I want a cheap mask, Sephora mask. That used to be $5. I think I changed into 6 or five fifty. I don't know. Since they did the clean beauty thing, everything has been risen. Like all the prices has rose. So I don't know. My skin does look hydrated. It does look glowy. I'm gonna let everything sink in some more, pat in some more, and then I'm gonna show you my final face. So this is my face. I did not put an oil on or a toner, serum, anything. This is it, just the mask and cleanser. And I like it, I like it, I like it. Um, I will leave the link down below to get this mask. Also, I will leave if it broke me out or not. Um, it probably won't. It doesn't have like a horrible acid, so it doesn't, it will not break me out. If you wonder why I'm looking up there, it's because that's where my mirror is. But yeah, I'm liking the way my face looks. What do you guys think? Um, comment down below and thank you for watching and clicking this video. If you haven't already subscribed, do so right down there. Also, watch my other videos which will be popping up here. Also, I have a Macari. Shop my stash. You know, shop the makeup, everything else. There's some items that are still on my Macari that I haven't, haven't, haven't sold yet. 
So if you want a Ace Beauté lip liner, if you want a palette, a hip dot palette, if you want a BoxyCharm mystery box, everything will be a link down below. Also, I have a code. I have a code now for a clothing brand called Tuesdays. If you want to save some money, it will be linked down below. Um, so yeah. Overall, I would purchase this max again. You know, it's like nine dollars. I probably just buy it. I should have bought it during the VIB sale. I wish I tried it before the VIB sale, cause then I would have bought two of it. I mean, come on now, I would have bought more. So <laughs> yeah, that's basically it. And I love how she has like um, Spanish, and then she also has um, Arabic. She has like. And English like she has it in three languages on the back I love how she does stuff um, this is also made in South Korea one use of course is a sheet mask and yeah this also says it's travel friendly so all the like ingredients it won't be like bing 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 also it's you know easy to put in your purse and that's it I hope you guys have a great day have a great night whenever you're watching this and bye, you guys. Good morning. Love for me. Good night. <laughs>